What's up everyone? It's DSP and uh, welcome to another edition of DSP Tries It. Uh, today, this is an interesting one and here's why. This is a brand new chain that moved into my area and it's kind of weird because all of the things, the cups and everything that come with the place, say the name of the place is Jake's Hamburgers. They even have a website, jakeshamburgers.com, but at the, at the store, the sign and the menu and everything says jakeswaybackburgers.com. And uh, it's a brand new chain that moved into my area, have never been in this area before, and I wanted to try them out. Um, the cool thing about them is you can actually order online. I ordered online ahead of time. I went to waybackburgers.com. They located my closest one. I placed the order. I actually paid through on the online website. And as soon as I sh went there and showed up, the food was ready. I grabbed it. And here I am. I'm home and I'm going to test it out. So we have three things today. We have the Jake Double Cheeseburger, which I, the, w the way that this place prides themselves is that number one, whatever you order, they make completely fresh. Nothing is pre made, nothing is stacked up and reheated like it is at standard fast food. And number two, it's fully customizable, meaning there's a list of something like 10 to 15 ingredients, condiments that are completely free. And there's a couple things that are a little bit extra, such as bacon, chili, those kind of things. I did get bacon on this, so this is like a double Jake burger, which is basically just a double burger. Um, and then I wanted cheese, uh, mayo, ketchup, some grilled onions, and some bacon on there. This is an order of onion rings, and wait, look how large it is. It's in a large cup. Look how many you get. There's a shit ton of onion rings in there. And uh, this is a mint shake, which is green. But the first thing I'm going to do is taste this shake because I'm very thirsty right now. I just need uh, a little bit of a boost. Let's take a sip. Mmm. Oh, the shake is delicious. Mmm. Now, something about the shake. It's a real milkshake, meaning it's... Handmade, you know, with milk and all other ingredients. It's not like McDonald's where they call it just a shake. There's a reason why McDonald's calls their shake a shake and not a milkshake. It's because McDonald's doesn't even put milk in their shakes, if you can believe it. They put something like milk byproducts in their shakes. So the, the government actually regulated them and said you can't call it a milkshake because you don't have real milk in it. This is the complete opposite. It is thick, but it's not too heavy. It's not super thick like some of those other shakes. Like I think Burger King has a shake that's way too thick. This is a perfect consistency. It's not super light and sugary like the McDonald's shake. It's not super thick like the Burger King shake. This is perfect. Um, so this is delicious. It tastes like mint, basically vanilla with, some, with a mint taste to it. Great. Now, just take a look at these onion rings. I mean... You go anywhere else, you get onion rings. It's not even a real onion. Look at this. A whole ring of onion, freshly fried. Let me try this guy out. Mmm. It actually crisps when you bite it. Take a look. Delicious onion ring inside there. The batter is delicious. Mmm. I love it. I'll finish this onion ring right now because I'm hungry. This is really good. Now, what I do want to say, mm, the batter is not heavy. It's actually a light batter. So this is, this is how a classic onion ring should be made. A light batter, a real onion ring, freshly made, still warm, delicious. So two out of three products already, delicious. Now let's try the burger, the double Jake burger with some... Uh, the way that I requested it. You can get lettuce, tomato, uh, relish, pickles, anything, you know, it's all free. The only things you have to pay for extra are bacon. And um, bacon, there it is. There's your double Jake burger. Haven't lifted it up yet, but that's what it looks like on a plate. So let's take a look at this guy before we bite into him. There you go. Onions, there's your grilled onions, chopped up, ketchup, bacon, fresh bacon, cheese, the two burgers, and I'm assuming the mayo is probably on the bottom. There it is, your mayo. Um, keep in mind, this is the only meal I'm going to eat today. Seriously, I'm going to have a snack later, but this is the first meal and only meal I'm eating today, which is why this is, I know this is like probably like ridiculous amount of 2,000, 3,000 calories, but... I got a tough day of gaming ahead of me. <laughs> so I need my energy. So, all right. So enough looking at the burger. The burger looks great. Let's take a bite. 
Mmm. Mmm. It's fresh. It's warm. All oh, the flavors are great because I made it just how I like it. It's delicious. This is great. I am so glad this place moved in. <laughs> Seriously, like this is the best fast food meal I think I've had in quite a long time, at least for a burger. Um, now, so rating wise, it's not perfection, obviously, so I can't give it a five. I'm going to give everything here a four. Everything here gets a four out of five. The only reason I think it, does, it's not, it should not be a five is the price. Everything is pricey. Um, the burger itself, the Double Jake Burger, I believe is $4. And then depending on what you get added to it, um, I, I take that back. I think the Double Jake Burger is $5. And then depending on what you get added to it, it could increase or, or you know the price. This ended up being the burger was five fifty, The shake was $4. I mean, that's kind of ridiculous. $4 for a milkshake. It is delicious and freshly made, but $4? Come on. And the onion rings are $3. And in the defense, I would say probably the onion rings are worth it because look at how many you get. It's a ridiculous amount in this giant cup. So the onion rings, yeah, $3 might be worth it, but everything else, I don't know. It's, it is overpriced. So, you know, you get what you pay for. You're going to pay a lot of money, but you're going to get an absolutely delicious meal. It's fresh. And just to warn you, if you do not order from these guys ahead of time like I did, it does take them a while to make your food because, like I said, everything is fresh. So if you order it, you're not going to get that burger that's been sitting on the grill for an hour. They're actually going to cut a fresh meat for you, cook it right there in front of you, and you can watch them make it. So it is, you know, you're going to have to wait maybe like 15, 20 minutes, but you will get completely fresh meal. It's going to be great. It's great tasting. The only downside is the price. They are on the pricey side. So Jake's Hamburgers or Jake's Wayback Burgers, whatever the hell their real name is, they get a rating. Everything there so far that I've tried, I've only tried these three products, but everything there gets a four from me. Um, so that's it for this episode of DSP Tries It, and I'll see you guys next time.